Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, no, you're not. You're not seeing double. This isn't the same video we did yesterday. This is an update to the Genshin Impact situation. Uh, it's gotten wilder. One of the voice actors in Genshin Impact has has come out against uh, MiHoYo, and uh, said that yeah, it's uh, unforgivable that they made characters too light skinned in the game. The imaginary characters from imaginary. The imaginary area. characters from the imaginary region in the game. So for those of you who missed yesterday's video, yesterday's update, uh, Genshin Impact is done by MiHoYo, which is a, a Chinese company. Imagine the Chinese company, you know, like light, lighter just, skin just tone. I mean, anyway, they they've got a new region. I guess it's a Natlin region, and they debuted uh, character designs. They're talking about the characters. And they're obviously based on like South American cultures or African cultures, but they do have lighter skin. They're a little tan. Now, this is not a real country. These are not real people. And Twitter was brigading them and uh, as usual, and they were actually sending sending threats to MiHoYo. They, they sent, uh, I guess, uh, customer service emails and they're like, why are your characters so light skinned? You need to fix this now. And they wrote back, hey, these are fictional characters. It's not a real place. They're not real people. Uh, have a nice day. They didn't care. But now we have one of the voice actors coming out and being it's being like it's unforgivable. I'm like, you know, is you this know? one of the American voice actors? Yes. Okay, so you know what they're You're gonna done. do? You're, we don't care. <laughs> You're hire, done. Rehire, like, rehire the person, yeah. Yeah, the next week they announce all their, their voice actors going forward or AI. You know, the, uh -huh. this is this is how like all these people talking about the concerns they have about AI art and, and uh, AI voices and AI music and all that stuff, right? And I think they're legitimate concerns, but this is how you make your job obsolete when you start complaining and the companies just look out like, yeah, you know, we really don't need you or anybody else either because, you know, the AI is not going to complain. So anyway, let's let's talk about this. Before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Um, Got to give a hat tip to Bounding in the Comics. This has come from them. Ryan Pearson, I guess, put this together. Genshin Impact voice actors throw, oh, it says multiple voice actors throw support behind critics of Natlin region skin tones. This is unforgivable. So yeah, voice actors. Oh, so there's I a bunch was, of people gonna I, get fired. I knew fired. about the one. I knew about the one. A bunch of people are gonna get fired then, okay. A bunch of people are gonna get fired. Voice actors for Genshin Impact have added their voices to the chorus of critics. They're afraid they're gonna get canceled if they don't. Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. Like, why didn't you say something? You voiced this character. Why? Well, that was like with um, Hogwarts Legacy, the one guy that voiced a character in Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, and he actually recorded his dialogue a year or two before J.K. Rowling went on her, her Twitter bender. And then he had to go make this profuse apology. Like, I'm so sorry. I had anything to do with Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, oh, oh. you yeah, better apologize. Did these actors already know what the characters look like when they did the roles? I don't know. Because if they didn't, I can understand it. But if they did know, then they're then what the hell? You knew. All right. So I knew about uh, Yeah, I knew about this one. Uh, Valeria Rodriguez. I could stay quiet about this and protect myself, but us folks of color don't always need to stay quiet and let others F us over and disrespect us so that we can continue to advance at half the pace of our white peers. Well, now you're going to advance even slower because they're going to be like, well, we're just going to replace you with somebody. If you're going to, yeah, exactly. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Like, like I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying it, you know, when, when voice actors, and especially you know, dub actors, start problems on social media and it gives the company a massive migraine and the technology is there to replace you very, very easily. Guess what's going to happen? Yeah. I'm just saying. Um, if you're going to use real world deities, respect them. If you're basing off of real world cultures, respect that. I'm fine with things being inspired by various cultures. That's awesome. That's what they kind of said. Yeah, they said it's not a real place. Representation is dope, but bare minimum, do some research and show some cultural appreciation. Yeah, I knew she was going on a bender. So this is, uh, they're talking about uh, Yoruba, I guess is a deity, which I, I, you know, now we're getting into to the nitty gritty here of this, but apparently this is their version <laughs> of this guy here. A little bit, a little bit different. That guy's a little bit darker than this guy. This is unforgivable. Look at what a sick job Smite did with their own interpretation. It's not hard. It's not hard. And here's another guy, uh, Alejandro Saab. 
Um, this is a Sino voice it's Sino play Genshin, so you have to you have to bear with me here. Uh, but his name's uh, Alejandro Saab. He asserted, "I didn't know that's who he's based on." Oh, that's bad. You still got time to fix it. Wait, uh, I didn't do my research for my character to figure out what they're based on, but you know. Um, yeah, you got time to fix it. Zeno Robinson, whose voice brings to life Sethos, claimed that even if your base audience, the Chinese fans, are asking for better representation or characters with different shades of melanin, who are you making these characters for? Uh, yeah, so they're all getting it. Who are you it. making it for? The Chinese audience. Uh, Albedo's voice actor, is it uh, Koi Dao, gave a lengthier statement and condemned Mihoyo. Oh, you guys are all fired. I'm telling you, like, I'm I'm just, you, you're allowed to have their your opinions, but you're like publicly shaming the company, the Chinese company. Again, you're done. When were these? Okay. My next comment is when were these recorded? They're, they're doing the character voices. Well, they're not doing, I don't think they're doing these particular characters, but they are playing characters and other characters in the game. But they're like, Oh my God, we didn't know. Again, this is to save their own ass. They're going to be like, we didn't know that they're going to be so white. Oh my God, guys, this is terrible. But I'm like, don't you have something in your contract that says you can't take a steaming shit on the company you're working for? Meanwhile, a couple of the voice actors for some of these characters, not the ones that are the ethnic ones, but other ones, are playing white characters and are not white. Yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm just pointing that out. Yeah. But that's completely fine. If a game draws so heavily from real world cultures and bases character on the supreme deity of uh, Yorobu religion, and that character ends up looking like the pale Sasuke Batman, people are absolutely within their rights to demand better representation, especially when said game has a clear state commitment to glo- a global audience. I hope y'all, y'all keeping make your voices heard, and I hope they listen. Uh, speaking more vaguely... Uh, Jenny Yokobora said it shouldn't be a radical desire to want to see yourself reflected in the media you consume. Uh, and, and to which to which Mihoyo answers, it's not a real world. These are not real people. And uh, followed with, you're, you're all fired. <laughs> you're all replaced. Uh, in response to a fan who asked, so it's okay to be upset and misrepresentation, she said, yeah. Um, this is uh, another another one. Wow. Raiden Shogun's voice actor and uh, Yatko gave a more level-headed plea. I really hope that a video game company listens to its fan base when valid criticism is made multiple years in a row about the execution of its research and inclusion of elements, aspects of other cultures. That, yeah, that's a much more based take on it, yes. Yes. Like, you know, if a lot of... Basically, if a lot of your actual customers, if a lot of your actual customers, paying customers are complaining and it, uh, across the board that this is something they're asking for, then yes, it would be wise to listen to them. If it's a handful of people complaining on Twitter, then... That don't, don't even play the game. Don't even play the game. But uh, the you know these voice actors, a lot of people associated with anything, uh, you know, video games, comic books, whatever, they fall into this trap and they get into this because they've got their people like pressuring them. You need to make a statement. You need to make a statement. We're upset about a thing. You need to make a statement. Where's your statement? Your peers, they put statements out there. Where's your statement? Where's your statement? It'd be a real shame if we, <laughs> you know, yeah. we sent the Discord mob after you. Uh, this is uh, Allegra Clark. Uh, another voice actress says, disappointing when parts of the world that are so seldom reflected in media can be portrayed accurately. I know this is inspired by as opposed to a one-to-one depiction, but if you're drawing on specific sources, it'd be lovely to see it done the way it should be. That's not as bad as like, this is disgusting. What's wrong with you? Um, yeah, so it just goes on and on. Keep speaking. Your voices are heard. There must be accountability. And change. Oh, God. I really don't think that, I mean. I don't think I, it's going to go the way the you think it's going to The only reason the Chinese go. company is going to care is they really think they're going to lose money. They don't really give two shits about what you say, to be fair. They don't. I mean, I think if you're using a culture and you're saying that is what you're, you're, rep- you're representing, then yes, you should have to make it look like that. They're being very clear that they're, it, it's really, it is really weird how they're saying it. They're saying it like, oh, it's represented by it's not, but it's, they're, not, they're fictional. It, it's kind of hard to have it both ways, but. You don't get to tell the company what to do. And I think it's really dangerous for voice actors to demand the company change things because they get their asses fired. You're the Western. You're the Western. Yeah, you're not voice. even the main, you know. No, you're the dub. Act. I mean, this is the we saw the same kind of stuff with like Funimation and Crunchyroll actors. And and usually what happens is you get replaced. They get replaced. And like and, you said, AI is coming. And I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not trying to be a dick. And I'm not saying that these aren't valid concerns, but the company has already said 
it's a fictional place. We don't care. Now, if a lot yeah, of people. That was our official response. That was our official response. It's a fictional place. This is not actually Africa. It's not actually South America. We're not taking America. suggestions at this time. <laughs> we're not taking suggestions. They're going to look at the numbers. Now, if the numbers drop off and, and one of their bean counters is like, yes, it's because the, the skin tone is too light that we lost a million players. Maybe we should change it. it but they might look at it too and be like, but if we change it, we're going to lose millions of more players in our own target demographic where we're from that is also possible you know so, and it's like because they're not i mean they, they're supposed to make a game for everyone but the, their core audience is going to be themselves yeah um and that's that's just it so like i i don't i don't know what to tell you i would say if you're if you're speaking out do not be surprised if you don't get a call back to to do more voice work uh, for this company and that you might be okay with that. You might be like, well, it's definitely worth taking the hit because, you know, I, I stood my, you know, I don't want to be associated with it, which is don't, a valid thing. Then just quit. Then just quit. Yeah. I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I don't think this is going to go the way they think it's going to I mean, they're go. all calling it out, but they quit. Well, they quit. Are they going to keep taking money? Like, keep it up, guys. We're going to pressure this company. And it's like, nah, that China and Japan have made it very clear that they really, really, really don't seem to care what the West thinks. Right. Um, it's another market for them. And again, like you said, their primary market is overseas. And and they're going to look at it and be like, oh, well, some people in America are mad. Pfft, oh, well, what's, you know, statistically, like what, what number or what percentage of, of uh, the global audience is from America? And then of that, uh, what percentage of people are vocally angry? And did it, we actually take a hit to our bottom line or not? And that's what they're going to do. You, know, you got to pick your battles. Are we going to wrap this up? Yes. There we go. It's just whatever. And all these people, and I, I guarantee you, not these people in particular, but but uh, people working as, as dub actors or whatever in anime, that in like five years or I'll be like, we don't know what happened. We're not, the phone's not ringing anymore. They replaced us all with AI. I'm like, you made yourselves very well, replaceable. Well, like the ones bawling because they demanded that, you know, everybody should have to only be allowed to play the characters that they look like or were like. And then when they that did happened. that, they were mad because they weren't getting work anymore. Yeah. Yes, there was. Uh, and again, there's a bunch of people that are not white playing white characters in this game. There was an Asian guy who was complaining about how white people were playing Asian characters. So then the, the big change happened in 2020, where all of a sudden you weren't allowed to play characters outside your lane. And guess what? He wasn't getting phone calls. And then they were mad about it. Then he was mad about it. Like he's only getting to play characters in his lane. And he was mad because he's like, my roles are limited. I'm like, well, you called for it, right? So that's that's where we're at. So let's let's wrap this up, guys. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.